So today we are going to get a very special look at the Kessel Run Millennium Falcon. Uh, we are also going to get a look at uh, a couple of different versions of the uh, Falcon uh, here that has come out during this run of the Solo toy. So um, we're going to get all of that done here today. We're also going to look at a couple of the 5 POA Force Link 2.0 figures. Uh, I am very happy to announce that I do have the device finally working after what, about 15, 20 days? 20 days later, I now have the uh, Force Link working. And uh, you're not gonna believe the hoops that I had to jump through in order to get this thing working. But we're gonna cover all of that here today in this video, guys. So um, I'm gonna uh, apologize uh beforehand here guys because this may be a very lengthy video because i need to cover a whole lot here uh i've been sitting on all of this stuff for several days waiting on the force link to uh, get updated and finally get this thing right and uh, we finally got it right so i'm kind of combining a couple of different items here all in one review so uh, i do apologize uh, if this video is going to be a bit long, but we're going to get a good look at all of these things here today. So let's go ahead Kessel and get run started. Millennium Falcon and uh, we're going to get a look at the box and everything. So we're going to go over this really, really quickly, guys, because we have a lot to cover here today. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, obviously we have a good illustration of the Falcon here on the front of the box. We also have a figure that is included, uh, which is Han Solo, young Han Solo uh, in a different outfit. Uh, we now have three different versions of Han Solo or three different outfits for Han Solo uh, for the Solo film already in the 5 POA scale. Uh, so that's really, really cool. And then, of course, we get uh, a little window here of the front part of the Falcon, which is really, really awesome. Uh, now, obviously, it is missing uh, the transport or the small uh, portion that is in the uh, middle there, uh, but very cool. We have the Force Link symbol. Uh, we have an illustration of all of the removable parts here on this particular Falcon here. Uh, we also see it here in a child's hand uh, to give us a uh, indication of the size of this Falcon. And uh, of course we have our warning signs. Uh, it does it, uh, take three AA batteries. So we're gonna go ahead and need to take care of that. We have our Disney symbol, Hasbro symbol, and then off to the side of the box, guys. We have a really cool description of the uh, Falcon here. So let's go ahead and get a good read of this, guys. When the Millennium Falcon jumps the Kessel Run, a risky hyperspace route that weaves a path through the space that surrounds the planet Kessel. It earns its reputation as one of the fastest ships in the galaxy. Only the most daring pilots risk charting shortcut paths through the run's obstructions, rather than taking safer but ultimately slower routes from Kessel. So really, really cool. Uh, we get a bit of a description of uh, how the Falcon earns its reputation as the uh, fastest ship in the galaxy. Uh, we also learn a little bit about the uh, Kessel Run uh, right there. So obviously the Kessel Run is going to be a major feature in this particular film, which is really, really cool and very awesome. So nice stuff there as well, guys. And then we get over to the back of the box, guys. We have our Star Wars symbol here. We have the Force Link symbol right here as well. Also have a depiction of the... Uh, child holding the force link or has the force link strapped to his wrist uh also uh is holding the uh escape pod uh that is in the middle uh portion of the falcon uh which we know later on will be uh missing uh for some reason hopefully we will find out what that reasoning is uh in the film and then we also have a depiction here of the the removable coaxum uh, which is really cool, and I hope I pronounced that correctly there. Uh, and then we also have the figure accessory storage right here, so that is really, really cool. And then, of course, again, we see that there are removable panels uh, that are also available on this Falcon, so very, very awesome. And then, of course, we have a picture of the uh, figure that is included with this particular package, which is really, really cool. And we also see that uh, the figure is uh, capable of being placed inside of the escape pod uh, as well. Uh, it has an opening feature, so that is 
also awesome as well. Now, uh, one thing you will notice here is uh, we have a depiction of the uh, cockpit uh, open on this particular Falcon. Obviously, uh, this particular model is uh, not accurate to the uh, true interior of the uh, Falcon, uh, which is a bit disappointing. Um, but nonetheless, it is cool to have this particular version of the Falcon since it is the first time that we're getting a chance to see uh, the Falcon uh, in its uh, pretty much pristine uh, state here. So that's really, really cool. Uh, one of the other things that you'll notice is instead of having the uh, double turret uh, gun here at the top, uh, it only has the one uh, uh, gun at the top there. And uh, we'll get a look at the bottom and see if the... Uh, cannon on the bottom is uh, also the same there so uh guys uh getting a look on the other side of the box here so again we have our star wars logo we have the force link 2.0 our figure force link 2.0 logo and other information right there and then back around to the front of the box uh, let's go ahead and uh, get a look at the box for the smaller version of the falcon all right guys and getting you a look at the uh, smaller version of the falcon uh, again we get a, a good illustration of the falcon here with the escape pod here uh, in the front very cool uh, we get the uh solo banner across the top with the star wars symbol we have the child holding uh the particular craft in his hand as you can see it is obviously much smaller uh than the uh big baby we have our caution symbol hasbro disney very cool other side of the box uh just uh empty space right there star wars and kind of a wrap around there with the falcon there the, uh, on the back of the box, again, we get a very cool image of the Falcon right there. It also displays some of the features. We have the uh, escape pod that uh, is jettisoned. It looks like it, it can be jettisoned from the top there, so that's really cool. Uh, this particular version does come with uh, articulated landing gear, so that is really awesome. Uh, and then, of course, it is compatible with your Force Link. And after so much time, we are going to uh, actually get a chance to uh, get to see how the Force League functions. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Uh, there's also some information here uh, in regards to the Falcon. The Millennium Falcon is Lando Calrissian's pride and joy. The sleek Corillian ship has been extensively modified to meet Calrissian's discerning tastes. So really cool, very awesome there. The, uh, just a little uh, description of the Falcon under Lando's uh, leadership there. So really, really cool. And then off to the side of the box, guys, there we have our Star Wars symbol there. We have a depiction of the uh, toy in the child's hand and the Force Link 2.0 symbol. And then back around to the front of the box. So really, really cool and absolutely awesome. So guys, uh, we are going to get a look at uh, all of these items. We're going to pull them out of the box. But before we do that, uh, what I am going to do here is we're going to get a look at some of the uh, five POA uh, figures that uh, also came out during this particular run of the Solo Toys guys. So uh, we're going to get a look at Kiera and Chewbacca. So let's go ahead and get a look at those two guys. All right, guys, and we're going to get a quick look at Kiera here in her packaging. This is the five POA version of Kiera, uh, very similar to the Black Series six inch version that we got here recently. So very cool. Uh, and then, uh, uh, and for those of you who do not know, 5POA stands for five points of articulation. So very limited articulation on these particular figure, figures. Uh, but there is a look at the packaging, the backside there. Very cool. Very awesome. Get a look at Chewy. Get a really cool look at Chewy. Very awesome. Very cool. And then one other thing about this particular Chewy, guys, uh, just for those uh, collectors who are interested in uh, variants, uh, there is a variant of this particular figure, guys, uh, and it has uh, to do with the back portion uh, of Chewy. Uh, if you can see it there, guys, and I, I hope I'm, I hope you can see it. But uh, as you can see, uh, the the on the bandolier, uh, you don't see any notches or anything uh, on this particular version of uh, Chewy there. It's uh, nice and smooth on the backside of the bandolier there. Uh, no uh, notches or anything like that. Well, there is a variant that has uh, notches on it. And let me show you that particular variant. All right, guys. So I don't know if you can see it there. Um, the, the glare might be obstructing it, but 
uh, if you look on the bandolier, you can see that there is some detail. There's some notches there. Um, I don't want to pull them out of the package because I want to keep the variants in their package. Uh, so I actually have three different, uh, I have three Chewbacca's here, the three of the five POAs, uh, one to open and two to keep in the box, uh, the two different variants uh, to keep in their packaging. So if we get a look at both of them side by side, guys, and I, I, I hope my camera is going to pick it up. I want you to be able to see both. But if you look at the back side, um, there is a difference on the on the bandolier there, guys. Um, so that would be your variant uh, for the uh, 5 POA Chewy uh, for those collectors who are interested in uh, the different variants uh, that sometimes are produced uh, in particular lines of, of uh, toy figures. All right, guys, so we've looked at all of the pack and all of that boring stuff. What do you say we go ahead and get a look at all of these items out of the package? And not only that, but we get a look at the Force Link 2.0 and all of its features. All right, you guys, so we have all of our items out of their packages. Really, really cool. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to get to, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start with the smaller Falcon guys. So, uh, and uh, incidentally, the smaller Falcon is basically Lando's Falcon. If you read the description on the back of the smaller box, uh, it describes it as Lando's Falcon. So I guess this is the Falcon under Lando's possession. And then the larger Falcon is the Kessel Run Falcon. And I'm assuming at this point in the movie, it is uh, switched uh, over to uh, uh, Han's uh, hands there. And uh, he is now in control of the Falcon. And I think that's the difference uh, between the two uh, releases that we received uh, here for the uh, solo line. All right, you guys, and getting a look at the uh, smaller version of the uh, new Falcon uh, or the Falcon in its uh, fairly new state. Very cool, really nice. Love the landing gear actually on this thing. Um, now, uh, obviously, uh, this is, uh, the retail cost on this is, uh, $29.99, uh, so 30 bucks. Um, I don't believe there's any light-up features on here, uh, but it is Force Link compatible, uh, so we will get a look at, uh, the, uh, Force Link features on here in just a moment, um, but getting you a look all the way around, guys, uh, really cool, very awesome. We have our Top Gun there again. Uh, the original version has a single uh, gun turret uh, as opposed to the double uh, gun turret uh, that it will later uh, be modified to. Uh, I'm assuming that is going to be a part of Han Solo's modifications uh, on the ship there. But really, really cool. Very, very nice. And then you also have the escape pod here uh it doesn't open you can't put any figures you can't put any figures inside of this at all uh, obviously if you look at the 5 poa uh it is definitely out of scale uh even the 5 poa up against the larger size falcon is really out of scale um unfortunately but uh what can you do it uh, it is what it is uh, but very cool very very nice uh looking uh uh piece here uh, so uh, what do you say we go ahead and get a look at all of the features on this thing? All right, guys, and getting you... All right, guys, and getting you a look at the uh, landing gear. Obviously, I have the landing gear uh, in its uh, landing position, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and fold them back just so you can see how uh, the uh, landing gear works. So uh, the front legs actually fold back go back inside uh, but what's really interesting is the back legs actually fold to the side as opposed to going back and forth uh, they fold into the side so really really cool and you can deploy them as so really cool really easy get the landing gear out pop those out well it's easier for others not not so much for me especially here on the camera but really cool there you go landing gear is all out now obviously you see our force link symbol uh is right there so uh that is uh pretty much where you're going to uh 
get all of your sounds from right there. So uh, let's go ahead and see what this puppy is going to give us. And then also guys on the smaller Falcon, there is one other feature that I forgot to uh, show you. And it does involve the escape pod. It actually has a jettison feature as you can see right there. So it actually can give you a lift off of the escape pod from the Falcon. So really, really cool uh, little addition for your $29.99 version of the Falcon. All right, you guys, so let's see what she's got. Firmware update required. What, why would it need firmware update? Huh? Wait a minute. In order for you guys to truly understand my frustration with the Force Link 2.0, I'm gonna have to take you back to the initial setup. This is how I feel, Hasbro. Tap on this stupid device. A few moments later. Bark like a dog. One eternity later. Hasbro is telling me to tap on this thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hop on one leg. Bark like a dog. Sound like an orangutan. That's how I feel, Hasbro. This is stupid. Why am I doing this to get this to update? Why can't it just update on its own? Why am I having to tap this a million times and it's not working? Why? Do you know what this means? It means that this damn thing doesn't work at all. Two hours later. Right, guys so a uh, couple of sounds uh there with the uh, force link but uh you also heard that it, it was saying firmware update required which should not be the case because it should be fully updated because i've already got it updated but you can also see that it was giving me sounds along with the firmware uh update uh, sound so uh this the the uh, force link is a, a real gimmicky type of deal it's really buggy uh, the app is was awful. Uh, I can I can tell you that um, setting this thing up was so ridiculous. All right, guys. So let's hope that it will work a little bit better with our figures. Maybe you heard of me, best pilot in the galaxy. Everything is under control. You ready with those coordinates? Come on, get us out of here. Stay sharp. I've got enemy targets in here. Come on, get us out of here. Stay sharp. I've got enemy targets in here. Right, so that is our Han that comes with the larger Falcon uh, in this uh, different outfit. So very, very cool. Hey there. I go by Lando Calrissian. Firmware update required. I'm too young and too good to retire. Everything you heard about me is true. Cargo freighter. That's a Corellian YT-1300. Smoothest ship in the galaxy. Strap yourself in, baby. I don't like these odds. Come on. We're getting out of here. 
So let's see what Kiera has to say. Well, come on then. We've got to get moving. Really cool. That is very awesome. Now we're going to do it my way. Please tell me you have a plan. Somebody has to have our backs. So really cool. Uh, got a couple of uh, phrases there from Kiera. Really, really cool. Sounds like she's going to be right in the middle of the action with everyone else. So let's see what this version of Han has to say. They call me Han Solo. I've got a really good feeling about this. This better be worth it. I don't run from a fight. I've got a really good feeling about this. Woohoo! We've got company. Blast them. This better be worth it. I don't run from a fight. Huh. I've got a really good feeling about this. Okay, stay sharp. So really, really cool. Really cool. Got a couple of cool phrases. Or quite a few cool phrases from Han right there. So very, very awesome. All right, guys. And let's check out Chewie. Yeah, baby. So if you notice, uh, Chewie has a different sounding uh, fire blast than everybody else. Everybody else has a standard blast. His is different. So really, really cool. Nice sound effects and roars from Chewie there. Very, very awesome, guys. Now, uh, guys, this particular guy is our Kessel Guard. And I did do a review on the Kessel Guard. He is a part of the Lando 2-pack. Um, there so he did come with the Lando and he comes with this really really cool tripod uh, Gun uh, that has the little uh, standard box here. So it's really really cool really awesome guys And uh, again, I did do a review on this figure already uh, However at that particular time the force link was not working, but now that I do have it working Let's see what he has to say So what's really interesting is that those are the same sound effects that you would get from the Praetorian Guards. Um, at almost exactly same sound effects that you would get, the, get from the Praetorian Guard. So they simply just uh, supplemented the Praetorian Guard sound effects for this particular figure. Um, and let's see if this uh, has any effect on the gun itself. And it looks... So the gun guys is not um force link compatible uh so you're not going to get any sound effects uh which is really unfortunate because you have this really cool box here that you would think they could have used to put the uh, force link uh information inside of uh so you can get sound effects for the gun because it is a really really nice uh gun really nice accessory to go with the figure um, you know, it would have been nice if it was also force link compatible, uh, especially since the sound effects that you get with the figure are really not all that great. All right, guys. And then, uh, to give you a good look at each one of the figures here there, again, they're all five POA, um, but there are some do come with some additional articulation, uh, more than others, uh, but Chewie here is uh, your standard 5 POA. Uh, no bend in the knees, uh, no bend in the elbows, uh, just uh, straight up and down uh, with the legs and arms. Um, now, uh, usually you get a twist in the, in the head portion, and you actually do get a little bit with Chewie. You can move him a little bit, a lot better than uh, I can get my uh, six inch uh, to move. So you do have uh, some good head turn there. Uh, but again, uh, it's going to be your standard articulation with these guys. Uh, but really, really cool 
uh, looking figures, guys, as you can see there, um, nicely detailed on Chewy. I want to get you guys a real good close up of the eyes here on Chewy. So there's Chewy right there, guys. Really cool. Very similar to our six inch there. Um, now, as I was showing you on the variant, um, you have one that has notches on the back of the bandolier. And on this particular version of it, uh, it's just smooth. Uh, so again, uh, for those collectors who are into uh, collecting variants, uh, you have a Chewy variant out there. Uh, one that has notches on the back side of the bandolier and one that has the smooth uh, side uh, on the back side of the bandolier such as this one here guys all right guys and then getting you a good look at Kiera very cool again she looks a lot like her six inch counter counterpart so very cool very awesome again five points of uh, articulation however uh, you do get a twist in the wrist uh, with her so uh, she she will give you that um, but again there is no bend in the elbows uh, no bend in the knees uh, just straight up and down uh, uh, five POA articulation, but uh, very cool that you get the twist in the uh, wrist there uh, in the gun hand uh, as well as the uh, the other hand as well. She's going to give you a twist there as well. So really cool. Love the detail, the little bracelet there uh, that's on her. Uh, so very, very cool and really, really nice figure all the way around, guys. And then uh, lastly, but not least, uh, is the uh, other version of Han Solo, young Han right here. Uh, now, we uh, again, we have three different uh, uniforms or, or three different outfits for uh, Han Solo. In the 5 POA version, uh, you have the uh, regular standard version there with the brown jacket. Uh, then you have this version with just the black shirt, uh, which is really, really cool. And then you have the version that comes with the uh, speeder. And again, he comes with the larger size uh, Falcon there, which we will get a look at in just a All moment. All right, you guys. So now we are going to get a look at the Kessel Run version of the Falcon for the Solo toy line. Very, very cool. Um, it's a decent sized vehicle, but obviously it is far under scale uh, for the five POA figures. Um, if you look here at the Legacy cockpit here, uh, again, I have the interior of the Legacy version of the Falcon. As you can see, uh, it has the four seats. Uh, you, you're able to put four figures in there, even though Chewie is a bit too large to actually sit in any of the seats there. But uh, you can place four action figures in that particular cockpit. And then not only that, but you have all of the other uh, surrounding areas uh, of the interior uh, again that's just the interior and then also guys uh, on the outside there uh, that's just a custom uh, build that I put on uh, in addition there uh, for diorama purposes but uh, as you can see we have the interior the full in we have the full interior of the uh, legacy version gives you plenty of space to put figures in set up dioramas um, obviously there's a lot of missing parts there for the interior guys, but just to give you an idea of what the legacy version gives you as opposed to what you're getting with the new Falcon. So, uh, let's go ahead and dive into All this. All right, you guys. So as I mentioned, it is a pretty large vehicle, um, considering uh, but very, very small compared to the Legacy. Um, but still in all, it is a good size vehicle. And you do get lights and sounds on there. Uh, right now, it's in its uh, promo. Oh, okay, guys. So getting a look at uh, the, the ship here. Uh, again, it's very large. And you have your uh, two buttons on each side here that activate the lights and sounds. And we're going to get a look at that in just a moment. There's the back side there. Really cool. Very awesome. And forgive me, guys. Uh, I'm trying to keep this whole thing in the shot, but it is pretty large. And then there's another button on the uh, uh, other side. So one, uh, the, the two buttons give you uh, different sound effects. 
and we will get a look at that in just a moment. Now looking underneath, uh, the landing gear obviously is not uh, articulated. Uh, you just have the uh, stumps there uh, to uh, give you your landing gear, um, but it is not articulated uh, landing gear on here, unfortunately. And of course, again, you have your escape pod uh, on the top there. Uh, uh, your escape pod on the top there that does open up on the inside. And as you can see, as you can see on the inside, we have our uh, coaxium, and I hope I, I'm saying that correctly, uh, canister there, uh, which is one of your additional accessories on this vehicle. So really, really cool. Get that closed. And uh, let's get a look at some of the sound effects. So you got your shooting laser sound effects. So very cool. And then on the other side, very cool. You have your lights there. as well and as you move it That is really cool. So it, it's like a, it, it actually has some kind of rumbling type of deal. That noise that you just heard there. Okay, guys. So uh, there's a couple of different ways. Uh, the, the there's a couple of different features for the sound effects. Now for the lift off of the Falcon, once you lift it off of the uh, table or a flat surface. It's going to give you the liftoff sound. So that's the liftoff and takeoff sound. Now, when you uh, go to, let's say that you're, you're going to land the, the, the plane. So when you place it down on the table, it goes into landing mode and, and the engine shuts off. So uh, those that is the, your liftoff sound effects when you pull it off the table. And when, when you put it back down, it cuts the engine. So while you have it in flight mode, you have your uh, guns here. Um, you have your guns on this side. So while it's in, in flight mode, you have your guns here on this side. And you have your warp speed on the other side. As you can see, the lights are turning on. Now, as you press the warp speed side, if you press it three times, you get the rumbling noise. And if you keep pressing it, the pieces fall off and the lights turn to red. You see that you have the red lights there. And then we have the dying engine. So really, really cool, very, very awesome stuff there, guys. 
and then of, of course the the pieces are very easy to uh, replace once they pop off uh, those are your two back pieces there and here you have your front two pieces there so those are the four pieces that pop off and then you have two additional removable pieces here so that's going to be your cargo space so you can put your figure down in there if you want so that's where han's going to rest and chill out uh obviously uh you're not going to get the same amount of space that you get in the legacy uh over there but uh, at least they are giving you a place to put your figure uh if you wanted to do so and if you wanted to keep han in there and close them up in there you can keep them closed up and lock them up in there and then you have this other compartment right here on that side and i, I don't know if you guys can see that uh, but you have another compartment here uh that would uh you can place uh items tools uh accessories and whatnot uh on that side as well so, so there you have it guys your falcon there and your your compartments uh there are your pieces that pop off there and the pieces in the front that pop off where your lights and everything are you have your again your weapons your weapons button here that's where the blaster or your blasters are going to be this is going to be your warp speed button there uh, that's going to put it in the warp speed you hit it uh three times uh and it's supposed to that's when it activates the uh pop-off features uh for your falcon so really really cool stuff with your falcon All right guys and as we had mentioned earlier the uh cockpit is uh much smaller than your legacy uh cockpit here uh it is a one-man cockpit with uh two steering wheels uh which is crazy but uh you have two uh steering wheels there uh you put your han solo on the inside here guys and i, I hope you can see that so you get han solo in there it's in there nice and good and you close that part up close that and now solo is piloting the uh, falcon so uh really cool um but of course uh doesn't compare to uh the legacy uh version where you can fit four figures you have four seats there uh it's just a proper and more accurate version uh, of the uh, cockpit for the uh, falcon um so kind of leaves a lot to be desired uh in regards to uh the uh, cockpit here uh but again uh the uh, vehicle itself is not even to scale with your 3.75 figures so um you know you it is what it all is all right so in addition to uh the cockpit uh again you also have the uh escape pod here uh that's in the uh, center of the falcon uh the new piece of the falcon uh here so we're going to remove that from the center so we have it removed uh out so there it is guys very very cool now you also have guns on your escape pod so there are your guns so it is weaponized really cool again it does open up you have your canister on the inside and there's an incidentally there's a little slot there uh and then there's a peg on the uh, canister and it fits right in there uh, but of course uh, you can also put your figure there on the inside uh, you can have him actually holding the canister probably probably there on the inside close him up on the inside and he is good to go so really really cool very awesome there's the engine and everything on it again you have your fold out guns so it is weaponized you can put them back fold them back into place very very cool and then you slide this slides in very easily as you guys can see there slides in and you're connected and ready to go and also guys the escape pod uh is compatible with your force link so let's see what it has for us
some really really cool stuff so you get the combination of your force link feature with your escape pod along with all of the other electronic features that come on your kessel run millennium falcon so there it is guys we got a look at uh two different versions of the falcon that were released for the uh, solo a Star Wars Story toy line. We got a look at a couple of our five POA figures here. Lando, Han, Kiera, Chewbacca, very cool. Also got a look at the Kessel Guard as well. And some of the sound effects that they had to say through the Force Link 2.0. We got a look at that. So what's most important is what do you think uh, what do you think of the Large Falcon and how does it compare to the Legacy? So guys, put those comments down below. Please like and subscribe. And of course, guys, from the Father to the Son to a full four-man cockpit for the Falcon. May the force be with you, always.